Gel manicure at home 101 for dummies and specifically people who ruined their nails like I did. Why? My nails are super short as you will see in this video. I'm going to walk you through step by step how I get them to look a little better. <laughs> as you can see, I store all the nail polishes I have on this wheel and today I'm going to show you the step by step using this light color. Usually light colors look better on short nails. They make the surface area look a little bit wider. First thing I do is I use a high grit nail file to file off the first layer of my nail polish. This is actually how you get to remove gel polish. There are different methods. Some people use the machines for that, but I find that too bulky to store and at the same time too expensive and unnecessary. Those files I actually got from Primark and they're super cheap. You can get even a bigger set from Amazon if you like that. After I file the first layer, I go on and use this. This is the best invention out there to remove gel polish on its own. All you do is you apply a layer, be generous with that layer, you wait a bit for around 10 minutes and then it crumbles on its own. This one is way better than the acetone uh, wipes or the acetone uh, sinking method because the other one dries the nails a lot and dries the actual hand too much. It takes way longer, takes a lot of space. My entire nail polish kit fits in a small bag and I travel with it whenever I go so it makes it easy to use that everywhere and all you need to do is use either a ceramic cuticle pusher or a wooden one I like the wooden ones because they're more gentle in general they look disgusting after you remove the gel polish but trust me you just need to lightly file again your natural nail to just give it a grit and you're good to go. I use Gelish. You can find this set also on Amazon. pH bond, base coat, the top coat, and nourishing uh, cuticle oil. The pH bond, which is basically a dehydrator that you put on your nails to prepare the foundation layer or the base coat to stick to the nail better. The key here is thin layers. Stay as much as possible away from the skin there. Usually when the nail starts to grow, you don't want the gel polish to stick to the skin. It will peel easier. Or you might get allergies. Nail polish is made for the nails, not for the skin. And sometimes when you accidentally cure, polish on your skin, you run the risk of getting an allergic reaction. I apply the foundation layer, then I flip my nail upside down in order to allow the gel polish to collect in the middle and not to widen on both sides, and then I cure it. This is a UV LED lamp. I got this from Amazon and it's a travel size. This is amazing because it doesn't take space. I travel with this everywhere. It's even smaller than my iPhone, which is crazy. At the same time, this was way better for me than bigger ones. This also works with my toenails. It's easy to move. Okay, so after the foundation layer done to my thumb, and as you can see, I tried to cure and do my thumb on its own every time and the rest of my nails together. Sometimes when I used to do all my nails at once, so the curing was not going well, I would either cure the four fingers and not the thumb or the other way around. So I do them separately anyways to avoid that. Put that for the rest of your four fingers, flip and then cure. This is not something you buy with the set, but this is a structured gel. This is what you can use to put the fake nails on as well. But I use it to make my nails a bit stronger and to avoid them from breaking. This comes in two colors. There is the clear, which is the one I use here, and there is the pink one. The pink one is great if you want to do French manis, but in general, I like the clear because it does not show from the nail polishes that I'm using. And even if I'm using a nail polish that is a bit transparent, this works way better. Here, what I do is I cap the top of my nail to prevent my nail from breaking. And this allows my nails to grow without breaking easily. Most of my colors are from Neo Nails. I'm going to link all the ones I have below. 
when it comes to color make sure again thinner more layers is better than too much layers stay away from your cuticle area and stay away from the skin as i mentioned before and then apply the color if you mess up on the sides and that usually happens because when your nails are short you have little surface area to work on what you need to do is either use your other nail to remove the excess on the side or you can use the same cuticle pusher you had the wooden one or the ceramic one to remove the excess cure that and then let's go on with the top coat gel top coats uh, differ some of them are no wipe top coats which are so easy to apply and so easy to cure and you have to do nothing after you cure them but i found these to be harder to remove with the gel nail polish remover i showed you earlier so i use this one by gelish and you have to wipe that off apply it also to the top of the nail and cure afterwards you can remove the lay the sticky layer it forms with either alcohol acetone or sometimes i use perfumes it doesn't matter then i apply the cuticle oil on all the nails do the other hand as well and here you go um, i think in the beginning it's harder to master applying the gel polish perfectly but the good thing about gel polish is it's very um, forgiving because when you apply it it takes time to dry you have to cure it to dry it so I take my time when I apply to perfect it and color it very slowly and that helps a lot when you have short nails definitely if your nails are longer it's way easier it also helps if you have a lot of cuticles to push the cuticles or cut them but I don't like to cut my cuticles I usually just trim them and that's it um, and in general make sure when you're using the polish to close the bottle every time you're curing with the light otherwise you run the risk of your polish getting dry in the bottle and that's just such a waste of money thank you so much for watching let me know if you're gonna try that at home as well and i'll see you in my next video bye